Welcome to the International Plowing Match and Rural Expo 2012 in beautiful Waterloo Region. Ontario Plowing Association was born at a meeting of interested farmers in January of 1911 and one of the primary purposes of the association was to hold a plowing competition annually. Except for a brief hiatus during World War I, the competition has been held annually ever since. In the early years, all contestants plowed with horse-drawn walking plows, but as time went on, tractor plowing became more popular and soon surpassed the number of contestants with walking plows. The evolution continued right up until the present as new classes have been added periodically along the way. In the horse class, walking plows prevailed until 1993 when a class for single furrow riding plows was added. The riding plow is commonly referred to as the sulky plow. Approximately one-third of the 25 contestants in horse plowing this year are using a sulky plow. In tractor classes, the pull-type plows gradually became antique and separate classes were provided for those using equipment that was manufactured in 1957 or earlier. Contestants in our championship classes today are using fully mounted plows, but there is one class for semi-mounted as well. In 2004, the latest addition was a class for reversible or rollover plows. The competition takes place over four days, Tuesday through Friday of this week, and contestants earning the highest aggregate score for the four days will be declared the champions in their class. However, there is a class on Saturday to accommodate junior plowmen between the ages of 10 and 21 years. This class has shown steady growth since its inception in 2001 and there are more than 40 young plowmen entered this year. In all, there are over 200 plowmen entered in the competition this week. Here we see a veteran plowman in the person of Cecil Wells of Paris in the walking plow class with his well-trained team. As you can see, considerable skill is required as the plowman controls the depth, width, and straightness of the furrows with the handles of the plow in addition to driving his horses. In the riding or sulky plow class, we have Don Lazenby from nearby Oxford County. Although not as physically demanding as the walking plow, the sulky plow requires a high degree of skill in order to make those furrows match perfectly. In the antique tractor class for pull type plows, we have Dennis Royal from Branchton. Dennis has been plowing for many years and can always be counted upon to do a respectable job. Here we see Charles Fraser from nearby Wellington County. What a great way to celebrate your 80th birthday. In the antique mounted class, we have Don Nunnicolin from Cambridge. Don is a very meticulous person and a frequent winner in his class. Anytime he relaxes, his good friend Doug McRobbie is right there to beat him. In the modern mounted class, we have a junior division. Here we see Kerry Davenport from Owen Sound competing for the junior championship. Kerry will represent Ontario in the Canadian Junior Championship class next month in Brandon, Manitoba. Courtney Connors, the 2012 Ontario Queen of the Pearl, stopped by for a brief visit with Kerry. Courtney is from Prescott Russell in eastern Ontario and has made many trips across the province in the last year promoting IPM 2012 here in Roseville. She has been an excellent ambassador for OPA IPM. In the senior conventional class, we see Mark Brodecker. Mark lives down the road a short distance and is a frequent plowing champion. Mark represented Canada in the World Plowing Match just last week in Croatia. In the senior reversible championship class, we have Brian Freed from Plattsville. Brian has a long history in the winner's circle and he too competed for Canada in Croatia last week. We urge you to check out the mini plot of plowing adjacent to this shelter. Take time to look at the large board which explains the components of a competitor's land and look at the corresponding number signs on the ground. Hopefully this will shed some light on what our competition is about. If time permits, we encourage you to take advantage of the bus shuttles to the plowing fields leaving from gate 4 during the times when plowing is in progress. These times are posted on signs throughout Tennessee. We hope you will enjoy your day with us here in Roseville, and don't forget to visit us again in September of 2013 near Mitchell, Ontario.